friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with another part of a recent Goodwill outlet, Ben's Hall. And I, this day, got a total of, I'll put on the screen, I cannot remember again, 100 and something pounds probably, uh, where I pay $1.49 a pound. I had just a really great day. I already shared about a third of those items in the last video. I'm going to share about the same amount or same time frame um, today. And then that final third next week that'll have the shoes and um, all the sweaters I got. It's gearing up for fall, I guess, already. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Stop chatting and get to the stuff you're actually here to watch. This is a hat, a super cute kind of hat like this. Let's see if it fit. One size fits all. We'll see. Not really. <laughs> fits most is what we'll say. That's pretty snug on my large head. And it is the brand David and Young, which I, I don't know that one necessarily, but it's 90% Angora, 10% nylon. Just kind of a bucket bell hat. Very cute. Went ahead and grabbed it. All right. Sometimes I just pick up things on hunches or just because I like the style. I do not get great cell phone reception in the bins um, and would have to literally just stand by the door in hopes that I could um, get cell phone service. So, okay, I grabbed these. Um, I should have looked at them a little closer. They're We the Free size 30. They are a button fly um, cut off short. They had, you know, a few marks on the back, which I wasn't as concerned about. I liked the front detail here with the scalloped kind of raw edge. But then when I got home, I noticed that there was a hole right here starting. So I'll probably just sell them as is and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> this is the brand Metro Style. No clue. Size 10 Petite. They are a genuine leather pant. That is why I got them. They're new with tags. It's probably just a boutique-y kind of thing. Um, but it is motorcycle season, like people riding. And while I wouldn't call these like motorcycle pants for like protection for if you got into an accident, the gives that kind of aesthetic. Um, and they're a straight, almost a wide leg, so they would go over some riding boots. I don't know. I'll market them. I've listed, I found this pair of like suede pants one time that were 100% suede, genuine, and they were brand new. And that's, those are the words I used. So, um, we'll see what happens with those. I don't know anything about that brand either. This is a pair of Theory pants. They're a size four. They are 92% wool and then poly mead, elastane, and polyester. I got them because of that. That could be an older theory tag, but they are a kind of a window pane plaid pant. They are a, you can see it's a bit of a flared leg or like a boot cut um, trouser pant. And it's got a silver metallic threading through it. So, you know, fun holiday pant or work pant during the holidays. And I'm sure they retail for quite a bit. So I grabbed them. Okay. <laughs> this is the brand Victoria Sport. Um, they're a size extra small. They're from 2019. There are these, this looks like something you would wear in space or maybe in the 80s um, in like a sweat sweat lodge or something but they're a jogger pant cargo pant in this blue metallic fabric i just grabbed them because they look like they're in very good condition this is a pair of old navy um short talls and they're a size medium and they are from 2019. i bought myself a pair of short talls this year and sold the ones that no longer fit me um they're not, uh, they're a little bit different and then they have a cross back. Uh, it doesn't have the strap that comes all the way back up the back, but they're very cute and tis the season. There's the cut off short all in a size medium. Need to get those listed ricky ticky taffy. 
All right, this is White House Black Market. It was funny because I thought, I haven't found any White House Black Market today, and then I found two pieces right back to back. This is a size six. This is an instantly slimming skirt in this, it's like a bandage style, but it's asymmetrical and overlapping. Um, side zip, this thing is substantial and it would suck you in. So nice piece, size six, just a classic style in a pencil skirt. This is another White House Black Market piece. This is a size four. It retailed for $78. It is a plain black pencil skirt. This is um, something that everyone needs. And so even though it's basic, I thought it's something everyone needs. Um, and it is lined, and I'm trying to tell you what it's made out of, but I cannot find the, there we go. It's a polyester rayon spandex blend, so it was nothing fabulous. It's a nice lightweight, new with tags, skirt. Okay, this is the brand Harrods, Harold's, I mean. Um, it is a size eight. It's 48% wool mixed with some other things made in the USA. It is a tweed, like tulip hem skirt, maybe tulip pleat. I don't know what those are called exactly. It's a classic style, maybe a little outdated, but it's a very nice skirt in this black and white colorway, and it's lined. So I did go ahead and grab that. This is cabbie, size medium, and it is, um, the style number is 3923. So it's just a jogger pant pull on elastic waist in this army green or olive green has back pockets and then it goes down into like a jogger sweatpant so I think those all do well don't sleep on cabby some pieces do well and at the bins I'm willing to pick them up all right this is CNC California which I don't I think it might be sold at Dillard's regularly or Macy's or something but I always find it at TJ Maxx this is 100% linen pant in a size small. These, I wish were in my size. These are so adorable. They're a high waist elastic pant, waist pant with the pockets, and they're a cropped wide leg in this botanical floral print. 100% linen, perfectly on trend. Did not see any marks or stains on them, and so was happy to bring those home. This is William Rast, which is like a Justin Timberlake line. Um, this is the perfect skinny, which I know people say skinnies are out, but I don't care. They're a size 27 high waist, kind of washed black jean in this released hem at the bottom, raw hem. So they're just a classic piece. Um, if someone likes that brand, then they will like that piece. This is the brand Zara. This is a US size small. But the, it is a squirt. So it's this faux, like micro suede faux wrap in the front. And then underneath is a squirt, but it's the short in the back. So it's not just a skirt over a short, it's the squirt in the back. So I did go ahead and pick that up. Um, that kind of goes into like an academia vibe, as well as a 90s kind of Y2K aesthetic as well, in my mind, because I had this similar kind of look. Okay. I picked up three items of LuLuRoe to lot together because they were all in the same size. So the first piece is, they're all three XLs. This is a long line kind of top t-shirt in a gray and white or black and white micro stripe. Um, so a bit of a high-low hem, great feeling fabric. Sometimes at the bins, I'll, if I see a couple pieces, I'll pick them up and see if I see any more. Lularo, some pieces can do well, especially in the plus sizes, but not just like the leggings, but certain pieces. So this is, I'm not going to show you a tag again. Lularo, again, this is a, another pull on top with this oversized rose pattern on it. Um, it does have a front um, kangaroo pocket on there. It's hard to see and it's hooded. Very soft, extremely soft kind of sweatshirt, long line sweatshirt. And the last piece is this um, t-shirt dress in this oversized rose pattern, multicolor rose, not just red roses, t-shirt dress, short sleeved. And 
uh, just maybe at knee length. So I was going to just lop those three items together and sell them um, that way. Okay, what is this? Sometimes I forget what I got. Oh, this is Torrid, size 3X. This is a uh, sleeveless top with this kind of geometric print and these blues and pinks. It's got a knot tie detail at the front and then it buttons down all the way. And um, super cute. And it is from 2019. So it is a newer piece and I see a little bit of a mark on it right now. So I will go ahead and stain treat that and give it another wash. I found a couple of good J. Jill pieces today or yesterday. So this is, if I can ever get it up, J. Jill, X, size extra large J. Jill. And this is a long line um, knit sweater cardigan. And I did notice this at the bins, but the, there is one, <coughs> a bit of a hole behind one arm. It is something that I can easily stitch shut. And I'm happy to do that because I think this is a great piece. Um, it's a three quarter length sleeve and it is 55% linen and then um, viscose rayon. So because of the fabric content um, and the style for summer, I thought it would be a great piece. It just got torn a little bit at the um, behind this arm here. So it's something that I can easily stitch shut and not be an issue. Okay. This is a um, black label Chico's. I don't know that that necessarily means much to in the resale market. I've sold a couple pieces. However, I know that this will sell well based on style. It is a open like kimono top with these crochet um, sleeves, like a half sleeve, and it's a longer line. And then it goes down to the bottom hem where it has heavy embroidery floral embroidery, and then that same trim that's on the sleeves. So Chico's like kimono tops and like wraps and ponchos historically do very well for me. So it's great to pick that up. I pick up a lot of Chico's anyway. This is, I think Torrid, Torrid size 2X. And it is a long line, kind of like a, well, it's tie dye, I guess long line duster um and like super long with these side splits open duster top and i think that will do super well given the season and the fact that it's lightweight and this is from 2021 so definitely a recent piece i love toward pieces because you can look up the style number and they have a pretty good library of it where you can find the name of the top and a stock photo if you use those. I will put it sometimes as the second photo, sometimes as the first, but I like to have like the actual name of it and how um, it's supposed to look. This is another Torrid piece. I don't, I don't not overlook Torrid, especially at the bins. So this is Torrid. This is a bit of a different tag from them, a size three. This is a Kind of like a tomato red coral um sleeveless vest well a vest is sleeveless trisha geez a sleeveless top vest it does have these like tie details at the waist to kind of cinch it in it's you know this has like field jacket utility jacket safari kind of um look to it has some front slip pockets and um it is a linen blend and it was from 17 2017 so definitely an older piece but i think that this field jacket kind of safari keywords will go far for it so this is a vintage piece i just grabbed this is hunt club woman it's a one x so it's hunt club they used to sell that at i feel like jc penny but it might have been macy's this is a um, corduroy front in this floral pattern with these stripes. This is definitely like an 80s, 90s look to me. And it is a plus size vest with button front detail and then um, has a uh, plain back to it. 
The only flaw on this is that the one button at the very bottom was um, a little bit loose. I'll just note that, but this is a fun vintage vest for somebody. Okay, this is the brand Indigo Soul. I have almost 100% sell through rate on this brand. I think I have one piece left in my closet that gets a ton of likes on eBay. I don't know why no one's pulled the trigger for it, but it's definitely something that's liked on eBay. This is a size large. I don't know where this is sold, if it's a boutique brand or sold in kind of, maybe it's sold at a um, department store I'm not aware of. If I find out, I'll put on the screen. This is a kind of lavender gray color sheer blouse with this heavy embroidery crochet detail and very pretty very romantic um cottage core look to it has these wide bell sleeves with trim detail and this detail as well so it may have come with a top underneath it but doesn't have it now but it still i think will sell all right this is american eagle size medium and this is an extremely cute kind of mixed print top. It has these tassel details at the um, kind of the shoulder down and a fun um, puff sleeve or bell sleeve, not bell sleeve, balloon sleeve with elastic. It's about below the elbow. And it's just a mixed floral paisley print to it. It's a wrinkled hot mess right now. It has a bit of a ruffle peplum hem to it. Heavy embroidery all along the front. So it's definitely a piece that has that boho aesthetic to it. And, um, you know, very festival, like concert going um, vibes to it. And it is from 2018. So it was a little bit of an older piece, but I thought it was a pretty good style, even kind of like going on with, you know, that style still around that boho aesthetic. This is a size extra large Soma nightgown t-shirt and it says let it snow on the front. So just a fun nightgown, night t-shirt, sleep shirt for Christmas time, winter time and in a great red color for the holidays. Soma makes very soft clothing items and um, I like to pick up Soma items as much, you know, if I find it, if it's in good condition, not super pilled, I'll grab it. Okay. This is Livy, L-I-V-I, which is, um, by Cacique. I think they might co-own it, but it's through Lane Bryant, which is all in the same store. This is like their sporty kind of athletic line. This is a 26, 28, just a sweatshirt, tie-dye sweatshirt in a nice gray color and lightweight sweatshirt. And then it has this fun, detail down one side with this lace up detail. So I did go ahead and pick that up. This is a fun find. So this is for sure an older Chico's piece, Chico's design. And it is a silk rayon blend, size one, which is a medium in their size chart. Um, but this is a blouse and it has a bunch of lanterns on it. Um, all over and some stripes, it's semi sheer. I think with the lantern pattern and the fact that it's a silk and a lightweight blouse, even if it's older, will do very well. I showed all like the baby pieces I got, her kids clothes I got last time. However, um, I this was in a separate bag because I washed it separately. So I'm trying to find the tag to this thing. Here we go. The brand is Baby Catan or Catan. This is a, it has the directions on here. I could just show you. It's this baby sling. It's a baby carrier. So you can wear it multiple ways. Um, this is in better condition than the one I had last time. Um, I think they retail for like, you know, 70 something dollars. I sold the one I had before for 20, I think. And it was not in as good as condition as this. So I've picked up any kind of baby sling I come across. This is just a cotton um, sling that you can wear baby on you in different capacity. So just happy to pick that up, especially if someone doesn't know if it's something that's gonna work for them, um, but they wanna try it out, then they don't wanna pay the retail price for it. They can get it on the second hand market and not be out as much money. This is Style & Co, which Macy's house brand, maybe. This is a size large. It's just a 
chambray button front top. Um, I think I picked up like four, four of these these days. This day, it's a uh, tab sleeve. It is not buttoned, and I'm assuming it is a Lyocell top, but let me just double check that. 100% Lyocell, just a great chambray top, that great fabric, lightweight for summer, um, and it feels nice. So everyone needs a chambray top in their life, I feel like. Okay, this is also Sleep, oh, this is Sleep by Cacique. It's a 2628. Um, this was part of a two-piece set. It's a sleep set, so it was a pajama set. I couldn't find the bottoms. Um, it did retail for $50 as it was. However, I feel like someone could just use this as a sleep shirt or wear um, leggings or something. It says, don't stop believing on it in this cranberry kind of wine color v-neck top and wear it as like a sleep shirt or just pair it with whatever leggings they had. I did talk about um, in my last video how I don't always pick up Lucky Brand, especially in sizes that aren't extra large and larger, um, but I found two pieces this day that I thought were worth it to bring home. One was like a tie front, knotted front, lightweight floral top. This is Lucky Brand um, size medium, and I just liked it because it's tie-dye, and I'm oh, definitely a sucker for tie-dye. Long sleeve like a rib knit top. So it just is a piece that can go, it doesn't have to be Lucky Brand, it could be any brand and someone could um, own that. Okay, this I grabbed, it's new with tags. It's I'm sure from somebody's like Etsy store or a farmer's market or some sort of boutique, um, but maybe not. So it says handmade lace, 100% cotton. It does say made in China. Anyway, it's handmade lace. It is a um, apron, a very pretty apron in this white color. It did have a little mark on it that even though it's new, it had like a surface mark because it's white. I think I, my Tide pen will get it out. Um, it's a very pretty apron and it has this fun kind of um, lace detail at the bottom. It's just a very pretty apron. Now you wouldn't want to cook anything. <laughs> You might want to put it, that'd be cute over like a house, you know, kind of a pinafore looking dress action. Um, but you might want to just maybe like stir some water with it and not do much else because once you get some grease, bacon grease stains on there, it won't be as cute. I just grabbed this as a reusable bag from Altered State. It's like those free people bags. I pick them up all the time when I find them because maybe I use them or I just, I'll put an order in that and send it away and be, you know, just kind of include that with an item so that it is not going off to a landfill. Okay, last bag for today. This is another J. Jill piece I got. This is Pure Jill. It's a large petite, um, but it's, it's really large. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? These have a snap button down the front, a concealed button, so you can't really see it. Front slip pockets. This is a heavy knit um, sweatshirt material. Longer line. Ooh, having a travesty over here. And it is 65% um, cotton and then polyester with a little bit of stretch. So it's just a nice transitional piece, you know, for the seasons. I think that's a great piece. This I need to check over for stains again, but I got it. Um, Lou and Gray I've tried to sell before, but this isn't a size large, so I did pick up maybe another Lou and Gray piece this day as well. This is the Lou and Gray size large, which is like the cozy comfort line of Loft and Taylor. Um, this is a, it's hard to tell, see if it has stains or not. It is a white sweatpant with these pom poms on them, like a embroidered pom-pom. I don't know how Swiss dot look to it. It's super cute. I did not see any marks at all. Um, it's more like an off white pom-pom and then a like just white base. So I thought those were fun little lounge pants. This is just a scarf I got. It does not have a brand. It just says made um, in China and that it's cotton and polyester but I really liked the mustard color to it and it has heavy embroidery all over it. I don't want to unfold it necessarily. It's a gauzy fabric. And so it's just something that's easy to list. 
This is a larger kind of blanket style scarf from Aerie. It's just polyester, but it is freaking soft. Um, it's a fun oversized plaid with that pink running through it. So it's just airy. It's from 2018, so it is a newer piece. And it's a it's this wide, but it's a longer scarf. Um, so it is a nice piece for fall and winter. I grabbed this scarf as well. I'll unfold this one. It's fun. It's a coral um, kind of color with a darker purple on one side and then the coral a lighter coral on the back with a white it has a fringe detail at the ends and it is um it's the brand is vera bradley so vera bradley accessories have not historically sold well for me but i really liked this scarf and it's just a um, acrylic scarf it didn't have any wool or fibers in it but i grabbed it anyway this day I did pick up quite a few kind of jacket blazer things. So this is the first one I got. It's Banana Republic size 14. <clears throat> and it is a chevron print jacket in hand. It does have some light shoulder padding um, in it. And it's just a straight line jacket. Full zip in the front. It can, um, it does have pockets, uh, but they are faux pockets. And it's a 59% wool and then polyester with um, outer. And this is from Fall of 17. It's the, t oh, t it's a tie neck. It ties at the neck. That's why the buttons on the back, Trisha, geez tie neck jacket so from fall of 16 but i just think it's a or fall of 17 a classic style so okay this makes a lot more sense that's fun that's cute i don't know how it's supposed to tie but we're just gonna give it our best best shot here so you can see oh that's cute that's way cute um, so anyway, it's kind of like a, I don't know, Mary Tyler Moore kind of look to it. Anyway, cute jacket. Um, could not leave that behind because it was in such good condition. I've said in previous videos how I try to pick up one like super shitty, um, fast fashion brand and which, you know, as old Navy, Banana Republic's just as bad, like all those, but Shein is the top, um, top one for me personally because I just see so much of it and you know it's just from like the season before and I think because it's so cheap that people just toss it um and I think that it's like ill-fitting like I think that it, the size charts are kind of off so people get it not worth returning it so they just donate it and it ends up in the bins and then it goes to the landfill so long story short I try to pick up one Shein or fast fashion, even Old Navy, um, or even Walmart or Target brands while I'm out and about, but Shein's my top pick. So this is Shein Curve size 3X, and I got it because it's it's cute. It's a cute piece, um, and I think I can resell it. So I did grab it. It's a one-button kind of boyfriend blazer, blazer jacket kind of look to it. it has light shoulder padding. Is it the nicest fabric and feel? No. Is it in pretty much brand new condition and unworn? Yes. So I'm hoping someone will at least get a second use out of it before it heads back to the landfill. All right, this is um, a nice piece. This is soft surroundings. It is a size medium, which is not necessarily a size I pick up in soft surroundings because it is a harder sell. This is 79% um, viscose, 21% linen and it does have a linen feel to it but it's a real nice lightweight kind of jacket in this natural color with single button it's like a mother of pearl look button and um, those are they're almost a full sleeve just a kind of a bit of a cropped sleeve and just a nice that's great for that could you could wear this in spring summer and fall really Okay, this I love. I wish it was in my size. Um, this is J. Crew Factory, and it is a size six. J. Crew Factory. This is a two-button blazer. 
little jacket in this navy color. It is lined. It's kind of a shiny, shiny look to it. And then it has this, it has three buttons at the cuff, but this person had um, folded it back because it has a fun contrasting liner to it. And I did grab this because it is 100% um, linen and it was from 2016, but it's a classic blaze, linen blazer. Like, I don't feel like you can kind of go, those are timeless, aren't they? Okay, this I grabbed because I felt like it was vintage or dang close. Um, it's Gap and it is a three button corduroy blazer jacket. Anything that has like an academia look to it, um, I will grab or just a classic blazer in a corduroy. Obviously not for the season now. This is from 2007. Um, so, you know, it's getting up on being vintage almost, but it's just a classic blazer. So if someone was doing, you know, the academia look um, with some fun plaid pants or something like that, that would work. So that is going to be it for today's haul. I had fun picking up those blazers. I just, it was a whirlwind of a couple hours that I was in there. Luckily, my kiddo was home from college this summer and he was off of work. And so he was able to feed the dogs lunch for me. So I kind of got an extra hour. Plus the bins are open at eight now instead of nine at my location. Recently, they just did that. And so I was able to pick up all these items in between eight and 1230. So I was there for about four and a half hours. Hours. Um, but I really was trying to be more picky than I normally am and was able to pick up some fun items that I think will sell well this summer. Next haul, you'll see all the two bags plus of sweaters that I got and the shoes and I got a couple accessories this day plus all the stuff that is still drying and um, getting ready. So this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, I'll go ahead and link it up here just so that you can click back and watch that and you'll be able to catch part three next Friday at seven because that's when I typically post my videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.